executive mayor yimini yake today yokukuba adakanxe intetho yake okwam ukucela nje lokuba everybody in the house are behave as expected ningacho nje ngokukhethekileyo sodolophu ukuthi unkumkani uzanelizwe ndimbonile unkumkani uzwele ozuko ndimbonile makube nezinye xa sele zikhona ndawumane ndisaziswa kwenzeni into kokuba abantwana benkosi abazinkosi ngokwabo sibuqaphele ubukho babo namhlanje ngiyayazika into kokuba elqesha asinalo kodwa ndifuna ukuyitsho ukuba ixesha la namhlanje liqale ngo8 o'clock executive mayor starting from e programs ebeziqhuba pha e ebhungi saze from 10 yayile program ye photo shooting to level greetings and acknowledgement of people abakoyo i guess by the executive mayor and honorable members by half past 11 fund by intete yake iyaqala as such i therefore without wasting any time uh, today is not a day for us to talk a lot see zo tatel tuba tuno singayenza kalisi lenkqubo yanamhlanje sithi call upon u executive mayor see ye ikhona bayikhona lento bayihlalelayo eh but i will do it kuba ndiyabona bayihlalela eh kodwa into engayincoma into kokuba i have seen bonke abantu abalapha bazelwe ngokutsha i thought abantu abalapha badala abanye hayi namhlanje banibhidile eh dibhidwe ngosizibilo isikakhulu and abona nozondo hayi abakokwabo baqoqile pha hayi madiba ndibone ngokuba mutshapa masi appreciate ke lonto sizibi eh honorable members let me call upon o mm to read the notice convening today's gathering over to you mm eh uh, thank you honorable speaker honorable executive mayor honorable deputy executive mayor honorable chief whip honorable members of mayoral committee the chair of chairs chairpersons of committees both portfolio and standing committees our traditional leaders our tambo councillors uh, our kings here yeah, all our guests our tambo staff community at large i greet you all i shall now read amended notice of the special council meeting notice is hereby given in terms of section 29 sub section 1 of local government municipal structures act act number 117 of 1998 read with section 20 sub section 1 of local government municipal systems act act number 32 of 2000 that a special council meeting of our tabot municipality to consider the 2018-19 state of the district address will be held on friday 1st june 2018 at 11 mutata airport hangars mutata to consider items set out in the attached agenda thank you on up speaker application for leave of absence honorable sokanye uh, thank you somlong and kale mbulise kuwe mbulise ku executive mayor deputy executive mayor members of the mayoral committee chair of chairs mbulise portfolio chairperson na standing committee chairperson iwips ze political parties 
EWIPS is a portfolio committee and standing committee. And we'll say the honorable members, we'll say the administration led by the municipal manager, we'll say in courses as well, a good tip, we need to come. Now you won't come to honest Kundra or menu a your upper. Now, but to bonk a basso over time. Some long, we have the following people who have applied for a leave of absence for today's gathering. It's Honorable Councillor Sabona who's writing exams, Honorable Councillor Mzedle, who has a family bereavement, who Honorable Ketwano, Honorable Chocho, Abaneng Maiki, Honorable Mzimane, Naye Opalai exams, Honorable Kuluta who's not well, who Honorable Councillor Unati Malkas, Honorable Maiki. Those are the people, Somlomo. Thank you. Declaration of interest, none. Announcements, Honorable Mlele, believed. Honorable Executive Mayor has lost her sister yesterday. So, Sina Yenge today, Unalo bereavement, but two cities are postponed, Mamanga, the Unyamezela. Then, no motions. We are moving straight to item number seven, seven point one, state of the district address by the Her Excellence Executive Mayor Honourable Mama Kosa Zanamel. The Kela Simnige in Begoyake. Atati Konga.
Mamela gave me the surprise, Lene. When did they tell you one? You could not take us now, Maya. Do keep up, do keep up, all is on. I know my mind is on the campus. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Mandis Tobin, the Castle de Bue Kala, Osom Logobonke, Basel War Tambo, the Castle de Pikungan, Ikungania Batimbo. Kumkani amamponi, dikhasele kumkani kaz, ingo si zonge, ezkoyo apa namsanje, the honourable deputy executive mayor, the MECs, the executive mayor of KSD, and all the mayors of our local municipality and the neighbouring municipalities the chief whip of the district municipality, and all the chief whips of our municipalities, members of the National Assembly and Provincial Legislature, the chair of chairs from the district municipality, all chairpersons of section 79 committees of our district, all members of the mayoral committee, all councillors of this district, all the traditional leaders led by the whip of the traditional leaders that serve in the Council of Oatambo, the board members of Ntinga Oatambo Development Agencies led by the chairperson, the board members of Amadola Water Board, 
as led by the chairperson. The audit committee members of our district as led by the chairperson of the audit committee. Leaders of the faith-based organizations as led by Oatamo District Chaplaincy. The members of the Mandela family who are here with us. Siakasela Batewi. Siakasela Momadriba. The members of the family of Oatamo who are here today, Omate, Siakasela Guni, Bahamba, again, Omaspala was in Mizana. I believe even the district of Athens was invited. Tatutabulo, Mona Paya, Chepesin and Pegas Athens, former mayor of Mizana, who started this relationship of our chamber in Mizana, Sia Katela Kanyan. All the political organizations as led by the ruling or governing party, the ANC and its alliance. Tivile uba unopala ukona wengindu na uonga malunga kokeleyo the ANC and the alliance and the political parties as kona council as a wartama. Sia Buli Sakuzu. Stalwarts and veterans of the liberation struggle, captains of industry, trade union leaders, the judiciary, the municipal manager and all the municipal managers of our local municipalities, the CEO of Ntinga, all directors and senior management of our administration in all spheres of government, representatives of our development partners, Zinin's Nakuluke partners Z20 development, Dinganga Zita Kanyu one by one, Nikache Loku Kobe Nu, the NGO organizations, the people of Oatamo district, members of the media, fellow compatriots, ladies and gentlemen, Bullis and Abandona Bam, and Baboni Nebakona Pavilion Tentis on Long, Diabulisa Galenzasa, Molwen. As I present to you the State of the District Address for 2018, let me begin by recognizing the vast audience that share this address to Eastern Cape Community Radio Hub. To our audience listening to our community radio stations, we are humbled and very privileged to have all of you with us today. We therefore take this opportunity on this momentous occasion to present the State of the District Address, which we have dedicated to Utata Wetu, Utato Nelson Mandela, as we celebrate his centenary. We are blessed by your presence. I must start, Honorable Speaker, by saying our Tambo District Council welcomes the recent proclamation by the President of the country on the probe by the SIU on the matter of the Tata Nelson Mandela funeral scandal. We welcome it because we believe we owe it to our people and the country and the world to clarify what really happened during that time. The year 1918 is one of the most significant years in the history of South Africa and the world. 100 years ago, dozens of our struggle for liberation were born. It was in the year 1918 where the Isitwala and Wesia Parang, when Nelson Holisasa was born. It was in 1918 that a heroine of our people, a shining example of our struggle, who dedicated her life to the service of her people, and a woman of fortitude, Mamunonsigelelo Albertina Sisulu, was born. To accentuate the importance of this year, as I said earlier on, we dedicate the State of the District Address to Tata Nelson Holisasa Mandela, and Mama Nonsigerelo Albertina Sisu. These great leaders belong to the generation of freedom fighters. To give meaning to their struggle, we must relentlessly pursue the economic struggle for the majority of our people. The State of the District Address is dedicated to the fearless freedom fighter, 
father of our South Africa and the world towering figure of the 20th century, who hails from our district, Tata Nelson Mandela. In our planning and decisions platforms, we have agreed that this year be themed as, I quote, 2018, the year of continued heightened service delivery and job creation in honor of President Mandela, be the legacy, close quote. This instructive theme is understood by us men and women in the public service and partners to be calling for collaborative work in serving the people of our Tamil district and creation of jobs. We South Africans are tremendously blessed to have had the experience of life with the leadership of Nelson Mandela. Though no more, Madiba remains a symbol of unity around the world. The one thing that was so extraordinary about Madiba was the breadth of his appeal. He crossed the boundaries of culture, gender, religion, and age. He had done so in a society that was once more divided than any other. One the world expected to explode along racial and ethnic lines. That this did not happen was largely due to this extraordinary man and his unique personality. Madiba's influence inspired ordinary people, events and actions into the extraordinary Madiba magic. After many years of struggle for the liberation of our country, Nelson Mandela's release from prison and his election as South Africa's first democratically elected president ushered in the beginning of our country's golden age. And he brought new hope to the country that was already engaged in a low-intensity civil war. He showed that it was possible for a nation that was at war with itself to sit together around the table of unity to negotiate a future that would instill in us a sense of new pride and a new patriotism for our country. He had managed to lead South Africa from a place of division and separation to a leader in democracy. In the process, Madiba faced many difficult challenges, but he persevered in the face of the many adversities. The qualities that Madiba is known for are not unique to him only. They are within every one of us. Putting Madiba on such a high pedestal amounts to setting aside our responsibility to follow his humanitarian values. It sounds like another way of saying we don't want to take responsibility. The challenge is too big for us. Madiba would say that the qualities that shaped his thinking, his belief and his actions are rooted in the spirit of Ubuntu. The cardinal spirit of Ubuntu is expressed in Usikosa as Usichuokwa Umutu Ngumutu Ngabantu, understood in English as people are people through other people. And I am human because I belong to human community and I view the treat, the treat I'm sorry, I view and treat the others accordingly. That's what Utada went to say. It. Ubuntu is to strive to help people in the spirit of service, to show respect to others, and to be honest and trustworthy. This Zoda is dedicated to Mamu Sulutu. In, uh, in this year of her centenary, we remember and honor a great daughter of our soil. Her centenary affords us an opportunity to reflect on a role women played and continue to play in the liberation project and development of our people. Her centenary affords us an opportunity to recall the enormous contribution she made to the struggle for the freedom of our people. Remember her kindness, her selflessness, her modesty, her intellect, and her unwavering courage. What an outstanding mother, a disciplined cater, a democrat and a leader with vision and integrity she was. She was a leader who put the interest of the people above her own. She put their well-being and safety before her own. She was a revolutionary, who was truly worthy of the title Sikwala Red Siaparan. She was a giant for our struggle who has rightly earned her place among the most outstanding leaders of our people. Nelson Mandela, 
Walter Sisulu, Oliver Kapanbeki, Moses Otane, Lillian Rui, Dorothy Nyembe, Winnie Matizela Mandela, Helen Susman, Nevi Pile, Sharon Corellas, Fatima Mia, Joseph Love, and Amat, Kat, Kamt, Kat, Amat Katrata are one of the leaders that Umama Sisulu that Nelson Mandela served with. In the financial year, whose account we are giving today, we have lost a number of prominent individuals who live their lives to the service of humanity. Among those we pay respect to is the mother of the nation. Unfortunately, death, the harmful coward decided against our collective desire to sustain our mortal relations with these fighters locating them to an address in a village where only chosen angels like them could find survival. Allow me, Honorable Speaker, to present what we have done in promoting sports, recreation, arts and culture as means for social cohesion. We have diverse programs as this current sphere of government. We have dedicated men and women in sports who continually put the Oatamo district on the map, home and abroad. As we speak, Oatamo district municipality have champions that represented us and won as champions of the 20 provincial games. This was a culmination of hard work from what level, municipal and district level. Our tried and tested men and women then went on to represent the district at provincial level in Buffalo City Metro, and they came victorious. Our district led in volleyball, rugby sevens girls team, and table tennis. These are highly recognized games where local government and district teams, they work together in the sports federations. I would also want to acknowledge the following stars that are flying our flag high as the district municipality. Wellness and fitness go hand in hand, and a healthy body is a productive body. We have seen the president leading by example by his uh, morning walks. We congratulate own Vuyo Vanda, who comes from us, who represented South Africa in world championships. And he got sixth position in the bantamweight division. Thank you very much. Angela Mahasi represented South Africa in the Arnold Classic African Championship and he got a fourth position in the middleweight division. <laughs> Vuyole Tumandosa Dila represented South Africa in Morocco during the Africa Championship in May 2018 as we celebrate Africa Month. One of our own was making strides and making us proud. She obtained bronze medal and represent Africa in championship to be held in Hungary, in Europe, in August. <laughs> Coincidentally, August is the Women's Month in South Africa. Malbongwe. <laughs> Last but not least, Honorable Speaker, in our sport and recreation, we are excited to announce and congratulate our own speaker, Councillor Koli Lengombela, for being elected as the National SAFA Vice President. We salute you for lending a hand in our national football, thus responding to Tuma Mina Gladden call by the President. <laughs> yes. Mr. Speaker, we have unfortunately suffered a blow in our football front as both our teams in Tata Bucks and in Tata City have been relegated from their elite national second division and provincial multiple league respectively. This has affected the district's economy and sports loving people. However, we just say don't lose hope. Go back to the drawing board and review your strategies and reclaim your position. You can. Our young people continue to make us proud. Even though education is not our core mandate, but it exists in our communities. Anati Zobitwa from KS, the local municipality, represented this district during the Provincial Library Week in Frafrenet 
and she obtained gold medal in poetry, praising Dr. Nelson Kholisa Samandoni. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in preserving the fallen heroes, the district continued the support to 1960 Pondo Revolt, the support to 1960 Pondo Revolt, a slab and a sculpture monument representing the victims of the Pondo Revolt, where community members were killed and leaders of our gas organization in the base of the Inuza Hill was constructed by this district. This place of pain and sorrow will now be a tourist site. The area has been fenced and landscaped. We are not done. During the ensuing year, the district will construct 100 footsteps connecting the museum, which is the Bondo Revolt Museum, and the bottom of the hill. These steps will be in remembrance of Utata Nelson Mandela's 100 years and beyond. Fellow councillors, as the district, we will be sending our writers, crafters, and cultural groups to the 44th National Arts Festival in Grahamstown. This will give them an opportunity to showcase their skills and talent to the world. This will also form part of being exposed to the market, and we wish them all the best. And they will represent us well. On providing clean water, transport planning and services, Honorable Speaker, we are a water services authority and water services provider, and we have an obligation to bring water to our people. For the longest time, our people have been deprived access to clean and drinkable water. Over the years, the ANC led government has endeavored to change the lives of our people from household to household. This commitment and conviction continued even this financial year. We have honored our promise to Flagstaff community in Inosa. Phase one of Flagstaff regional water supply is complete. We are pleased to announce the completion of phase two construction of bulk mains to Flagstaff town and reticulation. Work is advancing well with phase three of construction of bulk and reticulation network to Sipakeni, Farma, Wazulu, and other villages. We have extended the scope of, to incorporate additional villages in Mandulo. This phase is almost complete. ESCOM has not yet connected, but the scheme will be operated by generators that we procured in 2018-19 financial year. We'll make sure that those generators are connected to the scheme in order for it to function and supply the people of Inusa with water. And the project will benefit 30,407 rural households. This was what Madiba was advocating for, a better life for all, and as we celebrate this centenary, we'll continue engaging on a highest gear to accelerate service delivery to our people. Flagstaff Regional Water Supply Scheme has so far costed us 350 million, whilst other processes have been unfolding to make the scheme ready to supply the people of Flagstaff with water. We have experienced vandalism of this precious infrastructure. Key among the issues vandalized are valves, air valves, gate drives, score valves. We are asking our people to please look after these schemes because they are not schemes of the district. They are their schemes. Due to nine operational of these schemes of water, we have uh, experienced this serious vandalism and we are saying please take good care of these facilities Infrastructure costs millions to put it up and to maintain it. Speaker said, the institution has embarked on feasibility studies to investigate options to supply water to various villages of Inuza Hill and PSJ. Msikaba Water Scheme intends to supply water towards 22, Ward 23, 24, 25, and 28 of Inuza Hill by constructing a dam that will be supplemented by Mkambati River. Kwanyati Water Scheme intends to supply water towards 13, 18, 17, 19, and 20 of PSG, and wards 1, 2, 3, and 4 of Inguza Hill by constructing a dam on the Nuzi River supplemented by Mzindava River. Around 20,000 households will benefit 
on completion of the scheme. We have set aside 11 million for feasibility studies. On King Sawata Dalingebo, we've got the KSDPI and the Bulk Water Master Plan enables us to have an integrated approach to supply five corridors, which is Mkanduli, Ngadu, Libote, Delin, and Ntata corridors with portable water from Tata Dam. The water demand increased due to the increased economic development initiatives. The increase also included the extension of bulk sanitation pipelines, which were upgrading to cover the sewer in Mtata town and surrounding uh, suburbs due to population growth. Developments and dilapidated infrastructure to date, uh, these corridors are at various stages with enormous achievements made. Honorable Speaker, Mkanduli Corridor intends to supply Mkanduli town and surrounding villages, that is Vigisville, Payne, Omkulu, and Wakwalov. All the reservoirs and civil aspects of pump stations are at 100% completion. Pipe laying is 88% towards completion. The delay was caused by a contractor which failed at 27% of its allocated work and liquidation of a sole supplier of pipes the appointed contractor will be introduced to the community of Kalibovu on the 5th of June, 2018. The design of this corridor has specific requirements for pumps which are only available in Germany and procurement processes are in progress to get these pumps. Where reservoirs are completed, Oatambo DM will articulate to communities this to avert a situation where people run out of patience. Because the is on mobile, as we are trying to develop this bulk infrastructure uh, in a form of command reservoirs and uh, service reservoirs that we've been reporting progress as year after year as the Amanti projects. Ukona inaike babak baya wabona madam baya zbona i bulk infrastructure pipes but abaga fumani mans sifumele ne kwa ya approach yet masikube kule approach ka eskom apo sikube kono kule titulator so with the reticulation, which is the secondary part. On Nelene Corridor, we have 23,5 kilometers of pipe laying, of which 10,6 kilometers have been laid, awaiting testing. This makes the progress to be at 45%, and there are three reservoirs and one booster pump station. Two of three reservoirs are 100% complete, with a third reservoir at 52% towards completion. Nelen and Libote Corridor will supply or will be supplied through the new hyper water treatment works. Procurement process are unfolding to appoint contractor for hyper water treatment works. These treatment works will be done in three phases over a period of three years. However, temporal measures are employed to supply Libote while awaiting the completion of hyper water treatment works. In fact, Honorable Speaker, I engaged with the GIVE, which is the consultant that is used by Amatola in supplying us Kule regional bulk water schemes infrastructure. So, for me, less in our water treatment works as a hyper. In it, and job by upgrade so that it supplies hyper and surroundings and liberty and surroundings without waiting for three years for the new one that is still to be constructed. And I think Yamatola is committed to that. They'll make sure that it happens this financial year. Libote Corridor has 56 kilometers of pipeline with 49.8 kilometers already laid. This accounts to 89% of the pipeline completed. There are six reservoirs, of which three of them are complete. The Lalin Reservoir is at 48% toward the completion. The Megacom Reservoir lacks progress, and as such, continued engagements are ensuing with the contractor. The sixth reservoir is undergoing litigation. So, the Namadola, Safumela, and Alba, he approached in Jong Basin Committee in using our own emerging contractors or local contractors. Must not be punitive and harsh, and we must also assist them in ensuring that they get paid on time. Because, yes, I can't pay in Doba. The contractor was there and was able to come. It was so called as the cash flows, but there was no support that was provided to it. 
and self Mela Nauba. We can't afford uh, not to support our people, but we need to make sure that they perform as we coach and support them financially. The progress in these two corridors is hindered at times by undesired performance of our contractors, as I said. The liquidation of the sole supplier has also imposed a six-month period where progress was impeded. Our time has set aside 689 million for both Meleni Corridor and Libote Corridor. Some of us spend a meeting in the Amatola Board Chairperson, the newly appointed CEO, and they committed to say, Ulema Lisi Nikabona, they are big. As I said, it is spent and we want zero balance. And we've even opened a war room here in Watambo to monitor progress. And Satikubo, Mazibu, he processes Amatela, a monte, whom servants was a war tambo. Then to the office as a war tambo, Ubaba Safari Shono contractor bill to Abakasai, Ubuam about tender, he tender documents, a monte, ah, the bio father, a monte. You are going to go the no process of claims are going to be moved. Such gone are those days. Services of the people must be within where people are staying. So the office of Amatola will be in our time of offices, and there is commitment to say, Zongi contractors, Ebez Sogoni Swanabo, Zinga Patalima Lizazo, Sia Patala, Agalali U CEO Umcha, to make sure that on a contractor aid they get paid, and we represent them. The Mtata Central and Airport Corridor intends to supply the airport military base, Bedford Hospital, Fairfield, and Mtata surrounding villages. The Mtata Central and Airport Corridor is currently at 98% towards completion, and it will ensure the relief and improvement in the town of Mtata. These corridors combined consist of 45,9 kilometers of pipe laying with 37,4 kilometers completed, which gives 82% of pipes laid. These corridors consist again of five reservoirs that are at 100% uh, completion. Occasioned land issues, uh, a delay on pipe laying to Bedford, and military uh, had occurred. This is Amazamana now, says, so understand that your rights are bound to be but if that government brings services to the people, Masinga Iba and the service deliver, Masinga from Melani Jengoguti, Malia and the Pipe Lamans, Malia and the Pipe Lesua, Stella Stale Panzer Sitete, Sipas on the Sun as Figging Consumantu. The Thornhill Raw Water Pipeline Lane of 4,2 kilometer steel pipeline has been completed and is now operational since October 2017. The tie-in of the two new pump, three new pumps at Mtata Dam Pump Station is 100% complete, and all are working. The civil works is complete, and the treatment works is also complete. The mechanical and electrical contractor is progressing well with the installation of mechanical and the electrical components, and the completion of the treatment works will uh, be achieved in August 2018, and the completion for clear water pump station will, is planned to be completed in August 2019. The pipe replacement in Mambelana has been completed and the project will now focus on the lower Fort Game to police camp pipeline, which has been recently awarded, replacing asbestos and the PVC pipelines we are putting in replacing the asbestos we are also making sure that we alleviate the pipe best by doing that, replacing the asbestos with the PVC. Because the asbestos is every day, and we are sure the PVC pipeline that we are doing, or pipe replacement that we are doing, will assist us to relieve us from uh, the water uh, outages because of the pipe best. Dear councillors, we are saying with regard to the secondary bulk water supply, Meleni, Libote, and Mkanduli secondary parks will provide a linkage from the KSDPI primary park and village articulation will kick start this month. As I said earlier on, once the sewer fagama pipe has to back infrastructure to the villages, SEWA village, I lead, I am commissioned no months, I have a lot of energy to articulate 
When any secondary park will connect the Tepin regional water supply, that will see the villages of Dumasi and Mkwani when you have water since the regulation has been constructed. Libo Water Secondary Park intends to connect and supplement the 27 villages scheme that will see the villages of Umju and Mokweni connected from the KSDPI. And the institution has set aside 42 million for Libo Water and Meleni the titulation. On Mkwani, Honorable Speaker, the Mkanduli Secondary Park intends to connect the villages from Makinebeni to Kunu and Vigisville to Mkanduli, connecting the villages like Kotishin and Upper Nwaha from the KSDPI Mkanduli Corridor. 40 million has been set aside for this project to provide working opportunities in line extended, with the extended public works program. A minimum of two projects from the secondary park will be implemented using EPWP guidelines and they will fully comply with the EPW to the, the, the regulations. In the city of Samuel Mokba, Django Basibega has big reservoirs, and I'm a pipe and a cool. I'm a two-day residents, I know a pair. They don't generate many job opportunities because of the nature that is highly technical. But you are saying, come the articulation phase, we'll go labor intensive. Though we have migrated from standalone schemes, we still have those supplying our villages. While our regional and sub-regional schemes are still being constructed, we have a responsibility to see to it that these boreholes are maintained and are functioning. We call on our people to jealously safeguard the infrastructure that provides them with water. It is not good to receive reports that uh, there is theft and vandalism. We commit to make follow-ups on all bottlenecks and challenges that our people experience with regards to operation and maintenance of the home. To show that we are serious with the O&M, this financial year, Sibege Butala, 54.7 million budget, just to attend to uh, dysfunctional schemes. Mr. Speaker, we are also aware of the uncompleted schemes such as Potts and John's regional water supply. This scheme, unfortunately, was started without consideration of the source. This meant that our term ODM must then address the source first. A contractor was appointed in 2012. Further, in 2014, a contractor was appointed to do the abstraction works. The appointed contractor, unfortunately, did not perform, leading to the contract termination. In December last year, another contractor was appointed. Our institution is planning to temporarily supplement these schemes with boreholes. In the meantime, we are waiting for the finalization of the source. Notwithstanding the challenges the scheme has been facing, currently the abstraction works are progressing well and the project is expected to be completed in April 2019 with MNE expected to commence in March 2019. Manchang water supply, again, is another scheme where the contractors are back on site and this project will be completed by December 2018. We also have schemes that were constructed by the municipality that are not meeting the demand facing different challenges. These schemes are Sidwadweni Regional Water Supply, Upper Kulunga Regional Water Supply, Mzangala Regional Water Supply, Mfumelwano Regional Water Supply Scheme. These schemes are failing due to different reasons, ranging from lack of source to strains due to unauthorized connections. These schemes were designed and constructed by the time the demand was 25 liters per capita per day. And now the demand is based on 60 liters per capita per day. We plan to supplement the Stratwell Regional Water Supply Scheme through Tsitsa River, the water use license has been approved. I've also instructed the municipal manager to attend to the issue of the Pampias and Zumeluano. Apo Konawenziwa, he extension their articulation without attending to the issue of the capacity of the pump, which is Epae Manzini Mampen. And Sine consultants is appointed to quickly look at that so that we ensure that at least the capacity where there is no issue with the water availability. 
our pumps must talk to the capacity that is needed to supply water to our people. Ladies and gentlemen, in the house at large, I'm pleased to announce that 90 million has been allocated for 2018-19 financial year for the construction of the interim schemes. The scope of work includes equipping Thank you very much. The scope of work includes equipping the drilled boreholes, constructing e bulk rising main, e reservoirs, e bulk distribution main, e village articulation, including stand temps, taps. And this is going to be done this current financial year. And villages like in Krebezu, Nipuchane, Kribeni, Kwapala, and Flagstaff are the beneficiaries of this interim intervention. Mr. Speaker, Oatambo is, is a planning authority. In terms of Land Transport Transition Act uh, and the Land Transport Act of 2005, there is reciprocal relationship between social economic development and transport. And since this uh, is our uh, also responsibility, there is fiscal expression of social economic development to use uh, the land and make sure that and the transport. We have noted the concern that the funds spent on the subsidies, subsidies that are given on transport services are not being spent efficiently and productively. In particular, there is lack of support, assistance or subsidy for thousands of informal transport business people, which has resulted in a large proportion of transport operators uh, operating uh, window eight like close to bread line because singing is focus of sedenza and then there is the result of the consequent violent competition, lawlessness, poor working relationship or poor working conditions, compromised safety of the public and poor profitability for operators. As a transport authority we have an integrated transport plan, we want to improve the transport infrastructure, operations and provisions of the subsidy which can believe, we believe if we do that, we can make sure that all the stakeholders are tied to that and there is harmony in the transport sector. Regrettably, over the period of two years, we have experienced deaths of people owing to taxi violence. We call on, on our stakeholders to engage faithfully with the aim to bring to the end these uh, acts that we're saying are not acceptable. We urge all our stakeholders. But this challenge plans to form an amicable solution to our problems because there is no challenge without a solution. Ukba ukulu mende ati kaitu zamu kumisi ndi okulala na wabantu avuli rekezi ndini. Ilunge lula basta luguti ayiko lewe yenzi lewe ukulu mende. Kaya siku ukulu mende ndi nivile. Nia zonge zi ranks ndi fule zi five. Ukba ngaba londa ego nevi. On how best to assist and support the sector and the Lishwa, every pillar of the sector, Miyama, Nabanda, Batu Pegabas, or Tam, or Batomi. Though roads are not our core function, we have made strategic interventions in road construction and road maintenance. The Sakada Zega speak about who honor up the MM singles. Agaga ends in the Babas, Abant Bork, Abasavans, Aumtata as an economic center. Ubalam, Kakubutoli potholes, Mutual potholes or mans, Mutual potholes, Gapa, a southern wood. We are as officing, we are an asseptic gaps, we are an asseptic fetrot market, and around the industrial park. It is because of the intervention of our term, even though the roads function is not our core function. Then take a rival, Leonati, Lantley, who go back on a minute, me or Pabunga, and talk about to a Sauvula Lunca, so that we make it known. Yen again, Channing, I don't have to work on it, I'm San Andre, or for us as Penny Portholes. Now we got acknowledgement of the work that Watamu has done. We are saying uh, we are also assisting in our local municipalities. We have also rehabilitated the urban access road at Msonto, in Mumuka, access road in Yandi. And already, in two kilometers, the pedestrian walkways are under construction through EPWP. 
provide resource enrichment settlement. Honorable Speaker, allow me to share the work that is done by the Provincial Department of Human Settlement in our district. During the 2017-18 financial year, the Department of Human Settlement overachieved their set targets and they delivered the following to our Tambotide. Destitute and vulnerable groups houses 553, houses 1,767, partial services 1,902, Rectification of houses 194, budget spent to OR Tambo only in 2017-18 financial years is 413 million. Budget spent in OR Tambo only on houses is 435 million. <laughs> the Department of Human Settlement has planned the following targets for 18-19. It destitute houses 392, it houses 1,307, partial services 1,503, rectification 160, budget allocation for this financial year for OR Tambo is 299 million. Uh, a highlight on the uh, financial year 2017-18 a work that has been done, but when they get done in the only, where's numbers when this Daga and so long? We are saying, in line in 800, then they get a case in front of, case 1188, a case D, in Kagas 27, a case D, in front of 322, in front of, and then 800, and then New Brighton Services, a case D, Gangeliza Partial Services, a case D. And the department up and blocked the following projects during 1718. Um, one winning, one thousand, a purpose of five hundred, and in was a hundred, in was a hill municipality. Impose a five hundred, in was a eighteen, five hundred, a combo six hundred and nineteen. Focus area for eighteen nineteen, they will also develop the houses for military veterans seventeen. 260 houses in response of January 2017 disaster, 200 units uh, of Mandela, 400 projects as the contribution to the Nelson Mandela Centenary Commemoration. They'll also advise and implement strategies to unblock the block projects, particularly in bottom zones. They'll advise and implement strategies to increase the participation of the small medium enterprises in the housing delivery chain. Prioritize the delivery of houses for the destitute and vulnerable groups. See our time of the Bayata to elect function, the Uzis is in. We intervene from time to time. So, says I was under social relief program, who will intervene against the university for one a destitute family in Yande, this boom, or two, three houses with destitute families, a KSD, a upper child of our 21. We've also provided temporary shelters. As a seven, one a case, two a thirty-six, two a Moza Hill municipality, two fourteen and thirty-two, four airports and drones, two and three. We are also training Amanda Bacha, who in HDRC standards. We trained fifty young people in bricklaying in Moza, one, two, three, four, and five, and we'll be providing them with working tools and certification ceremonies gonna be hosted during the June month. Again, for 2018-19, this is what we are planning to do to intervene on human settlement development. On social relief program, we'll build 15 houses in all municipalities for the destitute. We'll also intervene in honor of Nelson Mandela and the Centenary within 25 for the destitute families for what 19, in particular, Ekoni. Temporary shelters uh, will be handed over to the homeless or destitute in Mshonto, Ward 3, KSD Ward 2, or Mshonto by 3, KSD is Bay 2, APSJ is Bay 2, Enyan and 2, and in the local municipality 3. And we are also conducting community trainings. Akosita Keteko, Nabanda Bacha, where's the standards, even the Tetangaz, the NHPRC, and we are targeting 150 women, people with disabilities, youth, a youth and the certificate of Zen's are classic civilian, smiling working tools, as we are saying, we'll do with those that we trained in 2017-18. On economic, uh, that grows speaker with its people, 
We want an economy that goes with its people to make sure that there is jobs. And we are saying we have given the vast amount of arable land, and we've been given the vast arable land uh, by God. We've got the land that is there that we are not using. We've been given, again, favorable climatic conditions in the Eastern Cape, but in particular the eastern part of the Eastern Cape. The Watamba district has positioned itself as a food basket, and agricultural primary production uh, will make ourselves a hub to make sure that we are not only feeding or supplying uh, production or the agricultural products to the province or South Africa, but also to the world. In tapping on this economic and comparative advantage, the Watambo DM is piloting the rural agro industries and financial initiative as means to enhance primary production in the district. Mr. Speaker, with a budget set aside of 9.5 million, the program seeks to implement a commercial pilot for large-scale production of oil seeds and high cash crops, e.g. soya beans, e barley, e wheat, and all the other crops that we are used to as the district, and make sure that we multiply e seed for our own district. This program is implemented in partnership with the government of Argentina, currently 400 and 530 hectares commercial pilot program is under implementation to consider the Argentinian technology of direct planting and not yield. Once fully implemented, this program is expected to create direct and indirect jobs. An additional 45,000 hectares rollout program is planned to cover the whole district. When we made the initial contact with the Argentinian government in 2015, we are that the program vindicates our initial long-held view that our detractors had nothing sensible against us but jealous for the people's plight and development. We make a plea to our people, particularly traditional leaders, to avail the land for this program as it will benefit our people. The next special guest, Apa, as is in Chobizam, as is in Gos. Apa in the Katazera, as in Gosizam, and the Apa in the whole of the district of Waltama. Umshaba Mutle, who make up Muslim Samatafen, or Umshaba Ulele. John Bassa Itara and Ima Lessi Begileo for radical economic transformation, in particular focusing on agriculture. We are saying the best partner with our traditional leaders and our communities to avail land so that Abandu Mabuti Balime. We're not going to take the land, we're going to support Abandu to plow and work the land. As part of our development endeavors, we have partnered with Emlo Gold Ashant and we are plowing or we have plowed for two years now 464 hectares of maize at Inguza, at Amampondo, Asemalangi. Siabulela, Uncosa, the Bogo, which was progressive. Jango Cosi, Umjoji, Jango Kunga, Nusa Nosu, Ebun Guyoati, and this Ukokela Mampon, the Lamba, Mazizi, Apes Mine, Zuzo Plower Beck, Ausi Agla Project, Elisa Little, your Pelacon, Pelacon, Ugonum Bona or Dolly, I even need your Ibonai, Siabulela to the time. And I've instructed my officials, in particular the Director for Economic Development, Ubala as a co-ops is the Lime Paya, Citi Sikawa Mungo, Nasifunu Mungusha, and Machin Babafun is Mungusha, Connie Mungusha, and Wo, no Zazia, not Yazia Zomiti. The Tay RTP, my Niga Bama, Mabeza Cooperatives is Lime Pa, is in Mungusha, Papa has the Baba processor, but he had value, Ulombo Nama of Felisa. Agricultural sector contributes far less than its potential to the South African economy. This sector has a potential to contribute even more better to the country's GDP. To kindle the potential of this sector, government has developed agriculture program in order to drive and re-engineer agriculture and value chain to boost the economy. Our time has even much advantage to exploit this sector for its people's development. Contrary to this, our district continues to be the net importer of all food, including vegetables, fruit and meat products. The research has shown that we import food and vegetables 
at a cost of 10 billion just in Mtata. A year we import food and vegetables at the tune of 10 billion. So we are saying the latter is among the issues that convince the district municipality to robustly pursue everything in agriculture and value chain. We are well aware that among the immediate tasks that are at hand is the development of a business plan or business plans for the farmer production support units, the mechanization as well as establishing hydroponic uh, tunnels and programs for agri-tech incubation in various local municipalities. With a budget that we've set aside of 15 million, see the West in the 15 million, the see in the last year, as part of promoting radical economic transformation and creating vibrant communities, the district has embarked on a number of economic programs guided by NDP, PDP, DDP, EPAP, and the district LED strategy, the ITP, and outcomes of the DDP summit. The institution has explored a number of areas with high potential for driving economic growth and job creation. These include, but are not limited to, focusing on agriculture, agro-processing as one of the pillars with a specific focus on intensifying primary production. A need for investment on sustainable economic infrastructure, which includes industrial parks, alternative energy sources, and modern communication technology as major drivers for creating a conducive environment for private investment. Sustaining and development of tourism and oceans economy opportunities as highlighted through the operations by key summit methodologies. Tapping onto the opportunities persuaded by major national and provincial driven projects such as agri Parks program, Wild Coast SZ, and to Wild Coast Road, Umzimvu Tata Airport upgrade, and KSD presidential infrastructure intervention projects. Ladies and gentlemen, with regards to regional industrial development program, the institution aims to enhance industrial development for establishing factories for rural communities and we are targeting the young people and we think we must engage the Oatamu young women to have a program on the manufacturing of tissues, chemicals and enhanced capacity for automotive sector incubation. A feasibility study for the regional automotive hub is envisaged in this program and intensive training on panel beating and auto body repairs is also primary. A budget of five million has been set aside for this program. The successful implementation of the our service provider and the auto sale Kwababa. Imani can take the final be a quite it is the successful implementation of the programs mentioned above require collaboration of both government and private sector. Therefore, trade and investment strategy has been developed, among other things, to promote investment in the district. In this regard, a task team has been established to facilitate and coordinate investment activities within the district. One million budget has been set aside for Ntinga development agents to facilitate and coordinate investment for the district, including developing and packaging brochures for the Land and Economic Investment Conference. This program is aimed at facilitating and creating a conducive environment for radical economic transformation, which will ultimately create sustainable jobs and alleviate poverty. Fellow councillors and honorable traditional leaders, with a budget of 12 million, the institution plans to enhance job creation and support SMME cooperatives and informal trade enterprises on material inputs and supplies necessary to unlock the potential of business in the rural communities. In addition to the budget, uh, the budget aims to ensure a fully established operational cooperative center which will be established, assisted by the Krisani Cooperative Development Center and Sibege 12 million Cooperatives have been supported in the previous years, but their contribution to the economy of the district is minimal due to the fact that they are not able to sustain themselves due to a number of challenges, such as lack of financial management, lack of entrepreneurial knowledge, inability to access the market, 
and lack of financial support. These challenges will be addressed through the planned SMME cooperative funding policy for the district, utilizing HRD council platforms which focus on skills development and partnerships with other sectors such as ECDC, DTI, and other government departments. The budget for 2018-19 will be used to support cooperative with inputs, training, and facilitate access to markets. The development of this policy aims to strengthen our economic cluster through IGR in order to create sustainable jobs and bring SMMEs and cooperatives to the mainstream of economy. The TC municipality is currently implementing the recycling, regional recycling program. Regional waste recycling. And we are targeting uh, cooperatives to be the ones that are leading the pack to make sure that it develops the culture in us cleaning our towns, also creating jobs and boosting our economy. The LED strategy has been reviewed to align it with key policy frameworks such as DDP, sector plans, and other frameworks from national and provincial levels. The budget for 2018-19 is 750,000, which will be used to facilitate and coordinate implementation of sector plans named by the DDP, which is the Agriculture Development Strategy, Forest Development Strategy, Development of Aquaculture uh, Development Strategy, and 600,000 budget for 1819 is uh, available for capacitation, which would help in training the people of the region in terms of the needs of the economy through the Human Development Resource Council uh, in order to align skills with the economy. On the Oceans Economy in partnership with DAF, the institution is coordinating communities along the coast and other interested uh, enterprises to form cooperatives and make sure that uh, they apply for licenses and fishing rights instead of permits. This would help them to enter into the mainstream economy of the sector and the establishment uh, and the stage one training of the co-ops is in progress. Their fishing rights have already been approved, and once the registration process is complete, they will be given their fishing rights before the end of the calendar year 2018. <laughs> the Decision Party is tasked with the role to coordinate the implementation of SPLUMA. Currently, the district has successfully established its district municipal planning tribunal and is at 90% compliance on the completion of the act and in progress for 2018-19 financial year, we have the following activities. We'll have consultative workshops with our traditional leaders on the Spluma implementation, development of Nyand and LM, uh, land use management system for urban and peri-urban areas. Operational costs for the district uh, municipal planning tribunal. And Mr. Speaker, we are implementing the Spluma and says Bule Likosu Zabogwe Tukuba, we have set aside 1.7 million for the development of Spluma and we'll, make, we'll be making uh, sure that we establish these special development frameworks and uh, no node, empire the node, and node, na centers are present plan. Tourism plays a crucial role in the district economy. It is essential that latent potential is tapped into through various actions, strategies, and policies. Key levers such as routes and loads must be coupled with interventions such as concentrated marketing and infrastructure provision to make sure that tourism reaches its full potential. The total budget for tourism for 2018-19 is 3.4 million. 
In the upcoming financial year, we will up our game in marketing Oatamba as the tourism or tourist destination. With a budget of 1.5 million, this program focuses on tourism marketing research, tourism information and management system, visitor arrival, trends, destination marketing through print media, websites, social media, execution shows, and identification of platforms. The institution will further undertake tourism education awareness with a budget of one million. We are giving this account to the people of Oaktambo during the historic month. It was in this month in 1976 where young people had demonstrated that they are capable when aroused. Hey, thank you, Honorable Executive Mayor Mamanguti Magasela Manzi. A good day, Teta. Now, this is a good Honorable members, let me uh, take you to our standing orders. Uh, I've already indicated to who executive mayor, speaker, and the chair of chairs, who clause 23, subsection 5 of our standing orders reads as follows. If the speaker needs to leave the council during a meeting, he or she must relieved by chair of chairs, or if either one of them is present, or by another council identified by the speaker of the council. In due respect, honorable members, uh, the speaker, due to many commitments, Vegetelso Tulupu, Simangata Mata, to leave, then I therefore request the chair of chairs to come and sit and proceed with the proceedings of today. Sorry for disturbance, my executive mayor. Thank you very much, honorable members. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Chair of Chairs. Uh, we are saying it was in this month, in 1976, where young people had demonstrated that they are capable when aroused of bringing down empire of repression with the hope that the substitute will inspire dreams. We are therefore indebted to young people of our country. The only payback we can give to the younger generation is to effect youth development. Honorable Chair of Chairs, we give examples of few highlights of the cooperatives that we assisted of our young people across the district. But a further detail of how serious we are about youth development will be given later in this account of our people. Was a co-op from Ward 12 of Inguza, given 300,000. Zakani Young Women Agricultural Project of KSD, given 190,000. Mampondo Co-op Youth in Ward 31, 137,000. Kunyez Pikari Co-op from Ward 21, Nyandeni, 73,000. Ward Tathle Maze Project in Inguza, 186,000. Siaka Ia project and veg and PSJ hundred with hundred funded with hundred and thirty four thousand Sisanda in Ward twenty seven in Moza hundred and seventy nine thousand Zamazizi of Mklonto twenty nine thousand Sitzinene Co op in Ward twenty three KSD fifteen thousand Soba and Kleenex from KSD Ward four hundred and ninety two thousand Another youth program, Cooperative in Agriculture, in Ward 19, funded with 150,000. But the list is long. We'll give account during the month of June on what is it that we have done as we committed that as part of contributing to the economy of the young people of our district, we ring fenced 
the 40% of the 12 million that we've put aside for 1718 financial year for cooperatives. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2016 and 17, our Tambo undertook a journey with stakeholders to develop a GDP along NDP goals. The, the OA Tambo GDP of Vision 2030. This journey is submitted at a launch held in 16 to 17 November uh, 2017, where there were agreements on GDP catalytic projects and on convening of the Land and Economic Investment Conference. The launch further adopted a roadmap towards our term of district economic growth, which includes setting up district targets for economic growth, wherein the district will position itself to contribute towards the nation's growth targets. And these targets must spare all of its local municipalities. Identify key priorities sectors to drive economic growth. Identify what is needed to make this possible and develop an investment plan. Develop infrastructure that promotes investment and supports industrialization. Establish institutional collaborations. Share capabilities available within government institutions through formal agreements and within set time frames. Make a wide range of people to be district ambassadors from, for an example, federal attendance to act as tourism uh, agents, develop a regional industrial action plan coordinated in the office of the executive mayor. And that implementation of all this will be uh, evaluated every year. An economic and investment extreme is to be established and it is to develop action plans and ensure implementation of the above uh, decisions. It will also be responsible for coordination of all research documents about the district. Today we report to you with pride progress that has been made yet in another journey to signing investment commitments for growth, creation of jobs and development of our Tambo district and her population. Our economic and investment work stream has been consolidated and driven through two fronts. Firstly, a regional industrialization forum, we call it REIT forum, that brings together government spheres, GTI, DEDET, Dr. Da, Dr. DLR, and entities like ECDC, ECRDA, Kohan, Tinga, and EXEC is on course. Focusing on the economic projects that must be scaled up to strengthen their value chain, diversification, and finding uh, markets. In this regard, REIT Forum has allocated government projects within the primary agriculture sector towards defining their value chains and finding investment partners for investment in diversification, especially value addition. This work has been able to coordinate and bring to the four areas of integration between what we were disparate but projects that share same objectives the REIT Forum is in course towards establishment of one-stop shop, economic opportunities information observatory within the district that will carry information about incentives available within the district and its local municipalities. Second, we work to the work that compact and coordinates with our partners in the REIT Forum is gaining momentum. ECTC has committed to strengthen the following subsectors Furnish a cluster with five cooperatives supported by DTI and further work, auto repair, which has progressed to training of candidates to the National Skills Fund. Sitetanje, Ipanel Pitaza, Sewa Tambo, Ebe Sebenzela, Ebe Kiat, Sizikogelele, close to over 20, Saz Tumela, Kule Program, Yogu Zenza's Basic Professional Panel Pitaza. Not Omanyendana. This is a state of the art panel meeting workshop owned by the people of our town. All messages, bands, or Java, whatever big kind may think of. This is a panel meeting as the panel meeting as a world town. See, I call by churches as man. The aqua processing, that is wool sharing and ensuring that all processing is done in the district before sending it to markets, will also support in that sector. Tinga is shaping up to become our special vehicle that drives trade and investment in the district and including revitalization of our subsidiaries, Ikai Fresh Produce, Ea into viable businesses and centers of excellence. 
that must graduate to attract equity partners. The Amazon president the World Chamber of Business. He will lend a partnership between ourselves and the businesses in running of the country. We will engage in the country. is to include a big uh, private a person who knows how to, how to run Apatu to come and work with our local businesses here. It's been a triple uh, P arrangement, car public, private, private. Between Umbu or West Space, also Itati Apatu, I think Glenda Ifanel Bikuyo, working with our people and us as government. I saw this initiator, even though there's an advert that has been issued to invite those people to express interest and come and present. Whoever wins the bid will make sure that if he's not a person from here, we, can, we cooperate and partner with you to make sure that we utilize that particular uh, program for the benefit of our people. Uh, there is also a great progress in the establishment of Wild Coast SZ. We have now resolved the land issues and we are hard at work towards getting investment anchors along building feedstock from primary producers. All of us must ensure that our products find space for the secondary processing at the zoo. The SZ is a long-term project and consists of two primary phases. The initial estimated infrastructure costs for phase one, in, which is within the airport precinct, which is non-aviation zone, is estimated at 1.3 billion and the phase is anticipated to be fully operational within the first 12 years of the SEZ. And during construction in the first phase, it is anticipated that 6,420 direct job opportunities will be created and 2,578 operational jobs. Sandra is making great progress on R61 and two wild coast roads, which are our economic backbone road freight network that will connect our goods services across the district and unlock our tourist jewel of ports and tons. This tell us again, honorable churches. Mama Spaga get so in industrializing in our town. Who manufacturing show so that the Mika Kosenzai, in my be Mika Kayokum not was set over Tambo outside. As the study of our GDP has shown that we spend 100 billion rands every year in our town just to buy goods and services from outside. So it taxes even the Lelugusa Avi Mika Koyotia Tilapitata, not because there is value to that in terms of economy, because who's the Susan Do, Susan Tenga Mapande, Imaya's water, we have human servants, I echo. It tracks us in the Enewar Town, as Lysha Ukuka, and everything else. As boomers, Lysha, who does in Tata, in food to scraps. So that thing must come to an end. We must create an environment where we'll be also exporting using Mika and Jenga Nestet and I, your M2 Wild Coast, uh, no R61. On the land as an enabler to our development growth, we can report that working with the Dr. DLR, uh, our time watch your information systems are busy categorizing various land parcels in accordance with their status. That is communal, private, land under claim or dispute, business, etc. Using Dr. DLR land audit information. Further work will be taking place soon, including consultations with various stakeholders on how land parcels identified for development projects are going to be released and how the owners will benefit. This work has to be concluded ahead the Land and Economic Investment Conference. And all this work is being done in preparation for our Land and Investment Conference that will take place at the end of August this year, where details of the projects that are being signed with the investors, what will be the rent value of the investment that will flow into our district, and the number of jobs that these will create and the overall change in the OR Tambo GDP contribution will be presented. GDP provides an opportunity for us to package the district to be the first district in the country to raise a hand and align itself with President's announced plans to raise $100 billion to boost the economy over the next five years.
Tuma me nasi chosi o atam. Mr. Speaker, we are hard at work on promoting education, health, safety, and social development. Our Tangot municipality envisions a prosperous, vibrant, innovative, and people-centered district. Education is pivotal to economic prosperity. Therefore, a door to success, assisting our people individually and collectively to escape the poverty trap, which is for now very characteristic to our district. The NDP envisions that in 2030, South Africans will be enriched by universal early childhood education, high quality schooling, further education and training that allow them to fulfill their potential and expanding higher education that accelerates the shift to a knowledge economy. The low levels of education in our district fueled the decision of the Oatamo District Council in adopting its district development plan, its vision 2030, with a human development pillar focusing on education and skills. And as such, the following educational and skills development programs are implemented. The financial academic assistance is providing full bursaries to tertiary students from the district starting in any public tertiary institution in South Africa since its inception in 2006. More than 300 young people have benefited from this program and at least 87 young people are currently registered with institutions of higher learning. With the pronouncement of fee-free fee -free higher education, we have seen a commendable increase in the number of NSFAS beneficiaries from Oatambo in 2018. For instance, of the 81% of the 2018 Oatambo DM Basari applicants, 189 out of 234 were confirmed to have been awarded NSFAS for the 2018 academic year. Yolen do siye gile ngo gugule malibendi icho uba sistenzi ya bandaba over 300. Uba sifande i first year students because there is fee free education. But aba kubege gayo, abe nzo second year yes bakali les kubega nabu. NSFAS remains the administrator of the financial aid for the poor and working class of South Africa and this includes the implementation of the fee free education decision. As such, our financial academic assistance will continue to provide for the continuing buses and intensify our support. Working with the high schools to ensure that those eligible for fee-free high education are assisted to apply on time. The institution will ensure that their family indigents, lack of access to information technology facilities, and lack of information about the various career choices at their disposal does not deprive them nor become a stumbling block to their aspirations to access such opportunities. The Star School program implemented since 2013 in partnership with the private sector, the mining company Anglo Gold Ashant, hosted by St. John's College in Tata, is aimed at improving grade 12 results in the identified 21 schools from all over our Tambo district. Thank you. Since the inception of this program, there has been continuous increase in the pass rate of the participating learners, from 83% in 2013 to 96% in 2017 academic year. The program focuses on mathematics, physical science, and English. The Anglo Gold Ashante awarded 90,000 to each of the learners recognized as top achievers and our time of district municipality awarded 60,000 to each of the learners recognized as second best performers in categories of best performed and best improved. <laughs> the institution is currently seeking more partners mobilizing additional resources to expand this winning model to open another center in the coastal region to enable more schools and more learners to participate. We have recently welcomed the Department of Education as a new partner in this initiative. They have donated uh, laptops to the second runners. Siabulela, MEC Makupula, we tate yai, baby, yake, 
Enzuango from his office, the partnership. Mr. Speaker, the institution is also implementing another educational support program, the community mobilization for the improvement of metric results in the poor performing schools in our town. This was started as a pilot in 2017 in the 18 schools from the district and is focused on providing learning aids and also mobilizing the communities to support the learning system and improve learning environment in their schools. The plan will increase to support to for, up to 45 schools in the 2018 academic year, also providing calculators and study aids. Language education is a societal matter. Siyayenza siyo atambo. Kakalu nyaka ko, siba no back to school program. Siti bagata yongi district, siyo bon bagu kupenda ni particular metric. As we are still a panza, siti zina inda vinanjari. As the army jay, bas fumamba, kutwe si figile na ati. As figile, there must be a program that follows. The skills development program focused on providing the vulnerable groups with skills that will make them self-employed and it included the bid work training for 250 people from the vulnerable groups and that included nine people from Efata, 20 children from Tolo Special School and 20 children from Sitao Special School, 50 elderly, 50 women and 50 young people. 50 unemployed young men and women from all over the district were also afforded the opportunity to obtain Code 14 learners license and plans are in place to assist them further to obtain the actual license. And this program will assist to reduce the number of taxi drivers, bus drivers, truck drivers driving without licenses, thereby contributing to the road safety. Dear councillors, Honorable House, the institution convened a youth summit for purposes of coming up with a framework for youth development in the district. Young people effectively utilize that platform to pave the way forward. Put in the Abanoma Bandas of our time, Abandonaba, Abanabanda Bachabas of our time. Mas Missele, whatever opportunity gets presented to themselves, they grab it with both hands. Never to Elepa, they demand the right Yabo, the economic emancipation in their lifetime. And we are doing just that as our time. Through the youth development strategy, uh, we are going to make sure that uh, we bring young people to the economic activity of the district. In the budget of 1718 financial year, as I said earlier on, they've allocated 12 million for the cooperative development, of which 40% is ring fence for youth cooperatives. Among the program of the youth is the participating uh, different sectors in Agumbi in agriculture. And I'm very impressed, uh, Honorable Chair of Chairs, in the Labadaba Chaba Funangayo, who students of agriculture, even many unemployed graduates, they are coming to the fore to say, support us all time we are here, we want to work our land. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, women and children in this district faced horrific era of brutal killings. Women abuses any use of psychological or physical or sexual force, actual or threatened, in any intimate relationship. Intimate relationship include a current or former spouse, an intimate or dating partner. Violence is used to intimidate, humiliate, or frighten victims or to make them feel powerless. Laws of this country alone cannot stop the crimes. We need to unite as people to combat this scourge. Mr. Speaker, the institution has partnered with the Eastern Cape Gambling and Betting Board, sector departments like Social Development, Health and SASA, to roll out awareness campaign to educate communities in local municipalities on Alzheimer's disease, dementia, and banking the myth of old age witchcraft. We also are running campaigns focusing on people with different abilities with this financial year focused on increasing community awareness on the rights of the people with disabilities, including the deaf, the blind, and the people with albinism. The Federal Council for People with Disabilities was also inducted and provided with training on basic project management. Ladies and gentlemen, Oatambo hosted the National World AIDS Day commemoration, which was addressed by the President of the country. 
attended by not less than 5,000 people. This event was preceded with an engagement with local traditional leaders around the issues of HIV and AIDS, the role of various stakeholders in the fight against HIV and AIDS and TB. The district interior event for the year was held on the same date, wherein not less than 1,000 maidens were in attendance. The interior program is implemented in partnership and support by Amabonku in all kingdoms within the district, as it provides a platform for Uputlisa is as a bandu to contribute and eliminate the current social ills facing the present generation, particularly the young people. Emphasis on the interior program is on empowering young women to abstain from sexual activities, focus on education building, on education, building their self-esteem, develop and acquire various skills, including life skills, visual and performing arts, music, traditional dance, entrepreneurship, etc. We currently have more than 4,000 young girls involved in the interior throughout the district, and plans are in place to mobilize them in all wards in the district. And if we will take again, then goes his own game. Lay me the day, we meet ya. When to work at Chile, Sasai Land and Lay. Uba, I am informed those young girls who were performing, expressing their right on how they should perform culturally or traditionally. We are not sure if they are part of the interior program, even though it is said. But there is different interpretations, different understanding on how the post season. A culture to the tradition of Funaga see performing. Some be Funaga not be vigilant because now I understand in the Yoba, Kaban to be a man or so till they can perform a particular activity. Kaba perform a till they can they can present themselves or so good till. I don't want to express my view, but I think it's something that we need to come closer to it to say, even if it's traditional and cultural. A right or activity, how we do it in a dignified manner. It's something that we need to engage with so that in a new listening to you that and what I got. Well, I'm not going to be able understand it. So the occurrence or the incident in our new by in our new do what I want to do again and think you have the internet over my ladies and gentlemen. We have partnered with the Life Foundation of South Africa. And we aim, we're aiming to provide mainly psychological support uh, to cancer affected families in the district, wherein a cancer awareness campaign we were conducted at Ward 5 in Musa Hill. It was in this event that seven women were diagnosed with breast and cervical cancer by oncologists in attendance, which has led to early detection and early treatment, thereby increasing the chances for survival for the affected women. In this financial year, the Watambo DM has distributed not less than 2,000 washable sanitary towels to need women and young girls in our district, including those distributed together with the school's uniform during the Back to School campaigns in Bezos and the various outreach programs. The institution is currently embarking on the program of designing a standard pattern to the reusable sanitary towels and training women on sewing the sanitary towels in their homes. With the support of the district ambassadors, the design standard pattern will be taken through the necessary process by acquiring SAPS endorsement and approval. Siambule la unga na umzingi osebenze uatambo, ongu matabo, one foundation engu tunamato basana, o adopte iskolo as a 30 as supplier monthly sanitary towers for six months, who has supplied more than 24,000 sanitary towers as we speak. Well done, Ramazan. Ladies and gentlemen, so far, we are saying for far too long, our district was notoriously known for circumcision fatalities, and we can safely confirm that our campaign on male circumcision is working. On initiations conducted in Sondo LM and Nyanden LM had zero fatalities. In Nyanden LM, I'm sorry, Sondo had zero fatalities. And Yand and LM, there were two fatalities and six fatalities in KSDLM. There were no amputations in all local municipalities within the jurisdiction of Watambo, 
Our aim is to have zero initiation fatalities and zero amputations in our district. We appreciate the good work that is done by our traditional leaders working with all the stakeholders uh, and that the work we are doing to protect the lives of our young people, thereby protecting the future of our district and the country. Mababu Yebe Pila. Low levels of economic activity, high levels of poverty, unemployment and underdevelopment, and heavy reliance on government grants are among pressing issues that led to the institution implementing One Home, One Food Garden, which is a program that targeted households, affected HIV and AIDS, women and generally needy households. In the folding year, the program benefited 2,000 households. Ladies and gentlemen, our health is important. That is why the district health services is intending to contribute to the reduction of preventable health risks in the district, focusing on the municipal health services as defined by the National Health Act. We'll do this by strengthening compliance with the enforcement of relevant environmental health regulations and environmental health norms, as well as standards, including recently adopted municipal health services bylaws. We will strengthen the effect effectiveness of health services by specifically enhancing environmental attractiveness, concentrating the Nelson Mandela Drive as part of the centenary, Nelson Mandela Centenary Project. We will strengthen the district NHI consultative forum and ensure that we also establish the local uh, health, national health insurance consultative forum. Mr. Speaker, in the previous quarter, we reported to have embarked in the District Early Childhood Development Summit, uh, which agreed on many issues that must be uh, engaged with. Formulation of the District Early Childhood Development Forum for easy coordination that has been done. Improvement of the quality of education at level, at that level, 25 early childhood development practitioners from all local municipalities are on the pipeline for training by an accredited service provider a milestone initiated by this institution with the aim of improving metric results. We commend the Department of Education for its expert contribution in the process. Walter Sisulu University is our pride local higher education institution, currently conducting research which will culminate to the formulation of the qualification that will be nationally recognized at both diploma and degree level. By so doing, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking heed to the clarion call made by the President during the State of the Nation address, the Tuma Mena Initiative. On disaster risks, Honorable Speaker, uh, our disaster risk management has improved its turnaround time in responding to disaster-related incidents. This was revealed in the disaster-related incident in January 2017 at KSD local municipality and the other municipalities, as reported in our last sort of 2017. The institution embarked on the construction of disaster satellite centers. The satellite centers constructed in Tondo and in Musa Hill are complete and will be handed over soon. KSD satellite will be constructed in Kanduli and the site has already been identified. A budget of 15 million has been set aside for construction of the disaster center in Nyande local municipality, and this will be the main center for our district. Thank you to those two hands. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I must also highlight that an early warning system has been installed in Pindwet location. The information reflected on the system will be disseminated to what councillors and traditional leaders as it happens so that they are able to alert the communities on disasters to occur. Due to change in weather patterns and climate change, the District Risk and Disaster Management Center is embarking on the review of the Oatamo Risk Assessment. We would like to remind the communities that the fire season is starting on the 15th of June as declared by our Disaster Risk Management Center, and the communities are requested to work closely with the satellite centers we have purchased four vehicle takers to a combined value of 6.5 million to assist them in the response on fire incidents. These tankers will be allocated to four local municipalities except KSD, 
which has its own fire station. Thank you very much. Coastal safety has been a great challenge in our aquatic space. Negative reports on the drowning in our coastal beaches have been hitting the electronic and print media space, and this reflects badly on our tourism sector. We have developed a turnaround strategy in capacitating the lifesavers in order to reduce the death in our coastal areas during our, uh, the festive season. Honorable Speaker, in, on stimulating local growth, financial viability, and asset management. Our Tambo municipalities amongst the, uh, seven, the 17 non-delegated municipalities in the country by national treasure. And each district municipality as our Tambo is the only district, uh, district municipality in the country which is directly monitored by the national treasure. This means that the affairs of our institution are monitored and evaluated directly by national treasurer. Therefore, after the draft budget has been tabled to council by the executive mayor annually, the national treasurer has got to do benchmarking assessment of these 17 non-delegated municipalities, including our institution, as part of budget consultation in terms of section 23 of the MFME. The benchmark exercise of our time is based mainly on three pillars whether the budget is funded, whether the budget is credible and relevant, whether the budget is sustainable. I'm glad to report that the budget that was tabled on the 28th March as a draft budget 2018, as well as the approved budget of the 31st May 2018, was funded on the medium-term expenditure framework period, which is 2018 to 2021. And the budget was also assessed to be credible meaning that it is in line with the IDP and also assessed as financial sustainable, meaning that the municipality is capable of providing municipal services in a manner sustainable and continuous. La Lama is the national treasure. Our town has passed with flying colors that assessment. It was even said our town will be used nationally to benchmark Amongst we are one municipality that is a district amongst metros will be used to benchmark best practice. And the honor so the, uh, the office of the premier, the officials were there. I am reported they also said they would use Watam to be a benchmark for the Eastern Cape Province uh, uh, municipalities. Ladies and gentlemen, every financial year when the budget is approved, its implementation must be in line with supply chain management regulations. It has always been our desire to ensure that the people of our district are the primary beneficiaries of the procurement of capital, capital goods and services in compliance with the procurement rules and regulations. It is with pleasure to report that the suppliers of the district municipality are improving in terms of the central supplier database and tax compliance. The beneficiation of the people of our district has exceeded the minimum percentage that we put for ourselves, which is 60% for local suppliers, which were, we committed when we assumed office in 2013. The which one is causing me. In national target, is it 30% local beneficiation on all goods and services procured. Or Tamboya Dega was 60%. And it surpassed that target. For the year under review, the institution has awarded a total of 261.7 million through the open tender system. And out of the 261.7 million, an amount of 173.7 million went to the service providers of Or Tambo TDM which constitutes 66% of the total awards. The sources of funding for the above awards, the MIG, which is 146.7 million, and the other monies that are tabulated in the SOTA, whom less we have funded. But Kubalegile, which is a breaker down, we are serious, serious about targeting the vulnerable groups. 
Tanapa, when the administration reports to us, we want to report on tenders awarded to be broken down. Manga Baba Faza Baba Dispatile, Manga Baba Ndabacha, Manga Baba who are living with disabilities. So we are breaking down by Marine entities owned by women and so on and so on. But we are not doing good in terms of the disability sector. We need to improve. We are also reporting on the tenders that were awarded, ranging from 30,000 to 200,000, which amounted to 24.6 million. Out of this uh, 24.6 million, 24.2 million was awarded to service providers from our district, which constitutes 98 percent. We tenders the 30,000 up to 200,000. 98 percent was awarded to local suppliers. To make our procurement opportunities more accessible in all interested, to all interested parties in the district, our tenders are going to be advertised in notice boards of all our five local municipalities in future. With the rollout of the broadband internet connection, our people are going to be able to access the tenders with ease and download the documents with no costs. Also, <laughs> Hi, Mayor, we are a district. If you have a class procurer for investor and some sort, we benefit or participate in the same But through our own supply chain management process, not the other way around. On audit opinions, oh, I'm sorry, we are saying as part of ensuring that our emerging contractors participate in the awards by the institution, our SAM policy requires that 30% of all awards uh, above 30 million be subcontracted to designated groups. The institution owns the infrastructure assets, namely those assets that are meant for the provisioning of basic services. And the total cost of these assets is 5 billion. On audit opinion, during 2016-17 financial year, the institution received a qualified audit opinion from the AG with only one qualification item. The qualification item was the irregular expenditure, completeness of irregular expenditure register. Lendos in Penales de Leona is as Fuman qualified, not unqualified. It is because we tried to disclose irregular expenditure, but we did not complete the disclosure. The Afunu Itaza, the Lavanda, the Bonnie Koshali Ambi, the Soplo, in my names, we have been to it. So if you have a account, you can also account on the platform. Irregular expenditure is a paper. It's 3 billion. We are the highest beneficiary on MIG in the country. Our annual budget is 2.6 billion. As now, it's 3 billion. And the 2.6 billion is not only for services and goods, it's for the running of the entire institution. So there is no way that you can have a 3 billion irregular expenditure of one year, as it is misunderstood to be 1617 irregular expenditure. We took a decision because we want to have a clean administration that all the irregular expenditures that occurred since 2011 that were never disclosed to Auditor General. We will disclose them this financial year so that we clean our book because next year, come the end of this financial year, we want an unqualified audit. We disclose them and we are the only municipal that I've heard of in the province that have gone the route of appointing a Section 32 Committee of Council to investigate irregular expenditure. And that has been done. And the 2.4 billion have been accounted for and tabled to council, and we are remaining with more than 1.2 billion. That must still be investigated, and our MPEG is busy doing that. I thought, Honorable Speaker, it is important that I also share with the meeting what is this irregular expenditure at Tetuangayo, 3 billion. 
Uh, we've got an internal audit unit that is a critical department within our municipality and it has assisted us to make sure that there is good governance. The municipality has an in-house internal audit that advises the management on effectiveness in terms of municipal internal controls and reports, the functionality of the audit, uh, its functionality to the audit committee on a quarterly basis. As part of instilling and modeling good governance, the institution has since established the District Internal Audit and Risk Management Unit Forum, which is intended to convene on a quarterly basis. In the previous financial year, the internal audit successfully assisted the Section 32 out of committee I was talking about on investigating the unauthorized, irregular, and fruitless and wasteful expenditure. And currently, the internal audit is further assisting the MPEG on investi investigating the remaining plus uh, the other irregular expenditure, which I said is at the range of 1.2 billion. Steps taken to improve audit, come, audit outcome. The institution has developed management audit action plan, which gets uh, monitored if the municipality is adhering to those action plans uh, by the oversight. That you are saying, uh, Honorable Chair of Chairs, is a vast uh, and very uh, vibrant oversight model because it is an oversight on our perception. Honorable members must appeal the board. Mokongo, here is no more Kumele Lago Mamanga. In that is his lapa pagat. Sakala Sami is a tour, continue Mamanga. Sandy Zokaba, some long. Ladies and gentlemen, though not uh, fully fledged, the institution has made serious strides in recruiting staff that will strengthen new communication aid as a strategic function. The partnership with Vodacom continues to ensure the functionality of the Tetanat uh, is fully implemented. A further means to account to take the mandate, we convene two imbizos a quarter, except for the ITV roadshows. And we make sure that there's also counsel that is taken to the people. Various initiatives have been undertaken over the financial year to ensure interface between the municipality and its communities is maintained. This includes outside broadcasting, media, walkabouts, and face-to-face -face engagements. We have inculcated the mass partisan to our operation and it provided the necessary support to the we provided the necessary support to the war rooms in order for them to understand their function. Steve Bigo once said, I quote, the most potent weapon of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Close quote. In undermining the apartheid special planning, government has connected schools and clinics to the broadband Wi-Fi starting with Sonto LM, KSD LM, and later Nyande LM. The program will now focus on PSJ and Ingoza. Wi-Fi is not sexy, it's a basic service. This government believes that access to the internet is the ultimate empowerment tool for economic development, education, and social inclusion. <laughs> Because it is important, the fourth revolutionary, uh, uh, what is this, industrial revolution. Indian Zelegi is here. If you are not using a BBT, see from the long term with Wi-Fi. As such, we are saying free Wi-Fi should be a public good, akin to water, electricity, and roads, and all citizens should be entitled to a free quota paid for by government. Our Tambo GM, therefore, is a fundamental belief that broadband is game changer as far as social economic development is concerned. The changes that happened in the last 10 years in telecoms far exceed in significance those that have happened in the previous 50 years. Simply put, is developed economies, broadband is a utility. The philosophy should be the same everywhere else. Ladies and gentlemen, the smart communities are not determined by impressive aesthetics and service delivery to the elite, but how well one can connect multiple communities of diverse backgrounds and means. Efficient service delivery to everyone across all sectors can be achieved by successful enabler of information products and services. 
for the continued commitment of ensuring that there is good governance and achieving clean audit, the institution of a functioning audit committee, as I said, and it keeps us on our toes. Ladies and gentlemen, True Operation Mass Partisan have declared war against poor service delivery. Operation Mass Partisan affords us an opportunity to build a specialized machinery in and will be a co coordinated from the central war room. In the South we have got our war rooms in all municipalities. We are establishing the district war room and we'll be establishing the local municipality war rooms. The coordination is done with the community-based workers, community-based workers who are the, at the core face of our service delivery. All of us, municipalities of the district, the sector departments and government agencies, as we give this account on the work done and commitments going forward, we loudly say, together we care, together we act, must partisan. Our care for our people is underpinned by putting people first, and again, is to make sure that people are actively involved in finding solutions of their own pro problems. Thirdly, the radical social and economic transformation requires activism and social mobilization. The fourth principle is that self-interest and the pursuit for private gain must be eliminated from the public and political institutions to protect the integrity of public institutions and their decision-making processes. Lastly, we must build a track record that we are capable of delivering on every commitment we have made. We must not promise what we cannot meet. Mr. Speaker, the matter of maintaining integrity and credibility is a must. We never claim easy victories. We are frank and open with our people and always take them along whenever there are difficulties. This will create public trust and confidence. As the institution we are emerging from the era of low performance and lack of institutionalized performance management, this has been impacting negatively to the institution, especially the annual report. However, we are glad to report that from e-performance by 2013-14, year 45%, we are now at 76% by 2016-17, and come 17-18, want to be beyond 80%, because our target is 100%. And also, cool. all our Section 79 committees, they make us to report and they analyze the report, the portfolio of evidence, and the model, the separation of powers, it has contributed positively to us an improvement of the audit opinion. To improve community engagement on governance matters, that is, we have open council meetings, uh, we had one, uh, which was held in case the Hillcrest, to further enhance public participation in the district. Community education on voter education will be prioritized come 2018 19. We are going to have elections. We are elections. We are going to have elections. We are going to only elections. We are going to have political parties. It is also government responsibility. We are going to have a government E beneficiaries. The Pope of the Bazaz is and reform action. What the beneficiaries the Bazaar yet? That's our time. We invited us there for the Napa. In Abona's Paramas, many Yamba's Bona, E beneficiaries the Bazaar is as our time. My chairman, thank you very much. Thank you. Irresponsibility of Mokuba Tracker. Honorable Speaker, in this financial year, the institution launched a Human Resource Development Council. In the country, it is even in the Human Resource Development Council. Amongst other issues, it is a focus on the high levels of illiteracy among the people of our time address the issues of skills development among our young women and men and coordinate intervention research by institutions of higher learning within our jurisdiction and beyond. This will have a long-term gain for the district. It will mean that we will not source skills outside but utilize our own sons and daughters. This institution will now perform both functions of skills development, which is internal 
and external skills development for the upcoming financial year, the institution has set aside 12 million for the operation of HRD and addressing skills development. Because there can be no jobs, there can be no economic growth without having skills. Hence, we are targeting the skills development. The MOU you have signed with institutions of higher learning will be further explored in the coming financial year with the proximity of Walter Sisulu University will save in traveling as opposed to going to other institutions. May Mr. Speaker, as part of our municipal support, we have started job evaluation in local municipalities within Oartambo. Placement of all employees, employees in the new organogram has been finished. Casual employees who were in the institution as of January 2010 were all placed in the vacancies as permanent employees. Two advertisements have been issued thus far. A total of 211 posts have been advertised internally, whilst a total of 64 posts have been advertised externally. The task of leading Rad District with a huge population, yet with limited resources such as Watamu District, is no minor task. Your land task road in Garisha is order. We receive a lot of from in our minor task. We take two hours, people get frustrated and impatient, but we must do these things, but it is not easy. It is perforated with many challenges, but we determined to rise to the occasion. As the late former president of the ANC in South Africa, Nelson Mandela, once observed, I quote, courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers, conquers that fear, close quote. We are determined to surmount the scourge or to surmount the courage and fortitude to lead, the fortitude to lead the people of Watama till the last day of our dream of the office. Our leadership is geared towards achieving the political objectives of a developing rural district that we set for ourselves since coming into office. We must also make a special mention of the support that we continue to receive from our political uh, authorities. Honorable Speaker, we thank the rigorous support that we receive from Council in our collective bid to fulfill our respective mandate. Today, in delivering this order, we are restating our commitment to those tasks and invite all of you to join us as we pull up our socks for yet another year. I wish to conclude by quoting Tata Matiba. I quote, after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb, close quote. Asika Kululegi, Mzabalazo, Mawie Pambis, Uwenza Ngonobo, Abandumu, Baban Kabogoetu, Diabule Langobu, Dinigentu. Yes. Bulela <laughs> Because there are no agent reports forwarded in the office, I will just announce two announcements. That one, it beat the address in the sense of Sotulu, which is Obuyenza, the 12th of June, which embers the council. Happy war term. Then the second announcement will be that one, Indication in the Fumena and Oba, all of us who have texts, all uh, guests as net texts as ballot guests, the honorable members of the council are requested in Oba, CEO, Base, Pupale Henga one, our Pabla, third gent from here, the third one. So that's the indication. Then it has been our community, your know, indication, it all members, this is Obagla, second tent from here. So, these announcements get Nazo. In the is that 
Kutwa is species, all of us is Usumana Mbasi Puma, because the indication is that not every boat do not so. Then, in this is what we are going to do, this is what we are going to observe, as long as the process is a protocol, as well as the protocol of the surgeon at arms. Si Abulela, the Honorable Councillors and the Council at large, Honorable Guests, Mugushuga Nakwazo, Zonke, Mbako Kwenus, Abulela, Apaka Kulu. Our council is so much agenda.